Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna look over the first of my online courses that I'm putting together. In this course, I will teach you to produce a professional looking varnish finish like this on your wooden boat, working from realistic environments such as your garage, home workshop or boatyard. So welcome along to the launch of 10 Day Yacht Varnisher. From what I see online all the time, the varnishing process seems to be one of those jobs that people struggle with or are daunted by the most. Here are some of the common questions that people tend to ask me. What varnish are you using? What grit do you sand to? Is that a sprayed finish? Do you tip your varnish? How many coats is that? And so on. In reality, there are a lot of variables that need to be considered within the subject and getting an answer to just one of these on its own won't necessarily help you to produce these results. It seemed to me like there was very little out there that will give you a complete definitive method to follow in this subject. There are some great videos on YouTube of course, but most of them, and this includes my videos, only give snippets of insight into the process as a whole, or just let you watch somebody else work without a detailed explanation of what they're doing and why. These little key details may well be the reason that you don't end up getting the same results at home as the ones that you're watching on screen. So let's take a look at what's covered in the course. We start out the course by looking at products. Selecting the right product can be a difficult decision in itself. So I've picked out five commonly available varnishes here in the UK that I recommend for use. We analyze some of the typical properties that you will want to consider when selecting a varnish and start to build an understanding of the terms that are used, such as flow out and wet edge. Moving on from that, we look at a broader range of additive products that can be used alongside the varnish in order to alter its properties when needed. Then we move into two-part systems and epoxies and discuss when you might want to consider these products instead and when they should be avoided. After products, we take a look at the other tools that you may need in order to get the job done. I run through my complete list of tools that I generally use for finishing work. We look over abrasives and discuss what you should use and when, before looking over additional items such as cleaning and application tools and products. Following on from tools, we make a start on the job. We cover project timeframe expectations before looking at surface preparation on a range of surfaces, including new wood and old existing varnish bases. I share my best tips for preparing new wood, such as removing cross grain scratches from the surface. Then we get into staining and look at how to stain bare wood, colour match old wood, and the best methods for removing or concealing existing marks in the surface. After the surface is prepped, we begin applying the first coats of varnish. We look at various different environments and how they may affect the job, before getting into application methods for brush and roller technique with an in-depth explanation on tipping practice. Once the initial coats are applied, we learn how to build a volume of varnish, getting the wood grain filled and the surface flat. Here we begin building the layers that will give us a deep level of gloss and color in the end result. I use digital illustrations to help clearly explain and build an understanding of what is happening during these stages. After our surface is built, we move on to the final coats. I go over how to get your surface super clean and your workplace set up to produce the best possible results that it can. I give my best tips for how to avoid dust in that final finish. We also look to hone the techniques that are practiced throughout the build up phase, such as maintaining a wet edge. We use this practice to produce the best possible finish in the final coat. Following on from the final finish, we look into aftercare with lessons on flatting and polishing. Sometimes despite your best efforts, you may be fighting challenges dictated by your workplace environment. In this instance, flattening and polishing can be your saving grace. It can help you to save a substandard finish or supercharge a good one. Finally, we cover troubleshooting. In time, I will build case studies in the course where we will look at various different compatibility and curing issues and discuss why they might arise and how to avoid them. There are a wide number of factors that need to be considered for the whole process to produce a good end result. Putting all of that content into a YouTube video, it would probably end up 10 hours long, nobody would ever watch it right through, and in the eyes of the YouTube algorithm, it would be a complete failure. It's simply too much content to cram into just one video, 
blog post or magazine article in order to cover the whole process properly. So based on that, I decided to make this the first subject that I would approach and create a complete method online course for. My course 10 Day Yacht Varnisher aims to cover the whole subject from start to finish in a dedicated, structured online learning environment that enables students to learn and absorb the information quickly and efficiently, greatly increasing the speed at which you can learn and then apply this to your own project. The course is built in an online learning platform with a student dashboard that clearly displays the course content broken down into lessons and modules. Each lesson consists of a detailed, sensibly paced video tutorial that walks you through the material, explaining the fundamentals in an easy to absorb format with visual instructions and illustrations. Each module is finished up with a short quiz that helps the key points of the lesson stick with you. So are you gonna produce a finish like this in 10 days? No, that's not what the name implies, but the aim is to teach you the fundamentals of the process in that time frame. I've broken the process down into 10 main modules and recommend that you study one a day to keep things manageable and nicely paced. You can work through the program quicker or slower if you like, study completely at your own pace. Once enrolled on the course, you have lifetime access, which means you can revisit the lessons and check back for a refresher at any time. Next time you're working on your boat and you've forgotten what grit to sand to prior to starting the job, just log back in, run through the relevant lesson for a quick refresh, and then crack on with the job. 10 Day Yacht Varnisher is currently in the pre-launch phase. This means that not all of the modules are currently built, but you can sign up early, save a chunk of money off the full course price, and begin studying the modules that are complete. Part of what I'm looking to achieve with the pre-launch phase is to get some feedback from the enrolled students. There's a questionnaire in the early parts of the course where you can give me feedback on topics that you've struggled with the most. Using this valuable feedback, I will aim to tailor the later lessons to cover the biggest pain point areas in the most detail with a view to helping students overcome these issues. So if you'd like to come on board early, have your input into the building of the course and save some money off the full course price, then sign up to 10 Day Yacht Varnisher today. You can click the link in the card above or the description below this video and that will take you to the course enrollment page. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the student dashboard soon. Cheers guys.